But you know, I, I just I don't know. I personally, I think this is so neat that this quadratic form stuff allows us to find the change of variables. You know, which allows us to take and eliminate that cross term and put it as a sum of squares. I, I just I, to me that's so so very very neat. Um, you know, the specific mechanics of that for a particular problem are, you know, sometimes a little bit complicated, but we take the big picture of what's going on. It's really quite beautiful. If you want, if you ever want to teach this to high schoolers without all of the linear algebra stuff, the calculus book which has this in it without linear algebra is Anton. Howard Anton's linear algebra actually has a section on this where he shows how to rotate coordinates just using the coefficients of the original conic section and like how you rotate and what kind it is, like general theorems that are it's, he completely black boxes the whole thing. There's no low linear algebra required. It's just formulas. So, but I think this is no longer in the education, right? You guys were not taught rotated conics in high school. Um, no, right? And we're not teaching rotated, rotated conics in calculus here. And our calculus here is more rigorous than like a lot of places. So I'm. It shows pictures of rotating conics in the calculus. Right. But That's. Yeah, I, I touch on it, but that's because I'm misbehaving. Um, so anyway, I'll post this. I'll post these. Try to remember to post these after when I have a chance here. A little bit later tonight, we'll be right away. But so should I should I make should I make Nathaniel bring snacks or something? I'm just kidding. I'll let him focus on his. Uh, Talking. Did we say Nathaniel?